Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have a very interesting figure to take a look at today. This is another one of those kind of unbranded, unknown, unnamed figures from AliExpress, but it was a figure that I thought looked pretty interesting in the promotional images. However, I can definitely say with complete confidence it is nowhere near as nice in person as I expected it to be. Not that I expected too much out of it, but it still is kind of an ugly figure as a whole, but it was interesting enough that I thought it would make a fun review, so I decided to review it for you guys. What you are looking at is a very Jurassic Park-inspired Tyrannosaurus Rex, and I feel like it definitely had some potential, and with a repaint could look kind of cool, maybe? But the overall appearance to the body is really bland and kind of boring. And the actual texturing to the skin is just incredibly generic and not very good looking overall. If we actually pan out here and kind of take a wider shot at the figure here and get a good look at it, you could see that from a distance, you know, it doesn't look that bad. It honestly almost looks like it could be a pretty fun interpretation of a JP style Tyrannosaurus. It almost looks like they honestly may have potentially bootlegged the Rebor Tyrannosaurus because it has a very similar looking head sculpt to the Rebor Rex and almost a similar looking body position, but I don't know that for sure. I can't say if that's exactly the case or if it's maybe just a coincidence, but let's go ahead and get a closer look at it right now. I definitely have kind of strong Rebor vibes from the figure, even the positioning of the legs and stuff walking along. But the Rebor one just has such a more impressive, like, body mass to it. And, you know, this one's in a totally different position. It's more upright as the Rebor one's a little bit lower. And, obviously, the Rebor Rex is way nicer than what we see on this one. But if you take a look at the head sculpt straight away, you can see that it, again, has a very Jurassic Park T-Rex appearance to the head sculpt. Like, incredibly similar to a JP Rex and I feel like the head sculpt itself doesn't look that bad like it had some potential and has some okay-ish looking detail. You can see the nostrils sculpted out up there on the tip of the snout. The eye is nicely darkened around the eye area there with a black. The eye is painted beautifully with a yellow given a black pupil and it's fairly nicely glossed so there's some care put into the figure. The teeth are all kind of big and bulky, they don't look that great, and they're also really quite sloppily painted overall. You can see that they don't look terrible, but they're also not that great either. And there's one area over here that almost looks like there's potentially like a wound on the head here of the Rex, as there's like a reddish paint that's been run up into the face, which is interesting because in the Jurassic films you often see the males kind of having those, you know, injuries and stuff to the face. So, or at least in The Lost World, you saw it on that one male on the big bull Rex in that film. So that's very interesting that they had actually applied that. I don't know for sure if that was something that was done on purpose or if potentially some of the reddish paint there from the mouth has kind of washed up into the face. But whatever it was, it actually turned out to be a pretty good thing because it's something similar to The Lost World. But again, the teeth you can see are fairly sloppily painted. You can absolutely see that here on the teeth right under that wound area as some of them have more of a green than even the white coloration. You can see the side here of the inside of the mouth has kind of generic detail, but it has a pretty decent looking coloration of pink to it, and then also like a reddish wash, so there is some variation of color in there. It also sports a really nice gloss coat. I feel like a dark wash could have potentially done this figure at least a little bit of a good job, but you can see that the tongue itself is just painted with a bright red. It doesn't look very good. I'm definitely not a fan of the way they've painted that, but you can also see that the inside of the mouth does sport a pretty decent wash in there, and again, a very nice gloss coat and some okay detail. Again, nothing incredible, but not terrible either. But once we leave the face, this is the area where I feel like it starts to take a very strong downward turn in overall quality because the skin texture of the Tyrannosaurus becomes, again, just super, super generic. And you can see it's just all that same exact type of an appearance as far as the scale detail goes. The paintwork doesn't look terrible in a way because there's like quite a bit of variation of color to it, but it also doesn't look very good. It in no way, shape, or form looks lifelike. Again, the paintwork looks pretty generic, but not quite as generic as the sculpt itself. There's kind of like this weird line, this streak that runs down the course of the back with like kind of like a pinkish brown type of a color, which, you know, I can at least give them kudos for something a little different. But I feel like they copied the Lost World paint scheme kind of with the greenish wrecks and 
they just decided to give it a pinkish coloration up here as opposed to a yellow, so I don't really know why they did that. As you move down into the body, you can see those incredibly long arms here on the Rex. The nails are painted fairly nicely. They have a black coloration and a nice gloss coat to them, but the arms look kind of ridiculous because they're a little bit larger and the Rex body is a little bit scrawny, so they just generally look a little strange. As we continue to move into the body though, again you can see how generic the actual texturing to the skin is on the figure. Just doesn't really look that great. It's not terrible. I'm not saying that it's horrible, but it's not that great either. You can see some muscle definition here in the thigh of the Rex. Not really too much going on as far as the kneecap. You can see a little bit of muscle definition there in the calf region as well. The foot looks okay. You've got some decent sort of like scoots down the toes. The nails are painted with a glossy black, so that's at least a plus. There is a dew claw, but the dew claw is almost dragging on the ground. Like, that is the longest toe I think I've ever seen that uh, would hold a dew claw. It's just crazy, crazy long. But as we lead back up into the body, you can, again, continue to see the super generic looking uh, detailing as far as, like, the actual texturing to the skin. And again, looking at it through the camera, it honestly doesn't look all that terrible, but in person, in hand... It's definitely not as nice as it could be. You can see lots of creasing going on right here. As we lead out the length of the tail, there's a little bit of a curve to it, which is a fairly nice and natural looking curve. If we take a look at the opposing side, again, the neck is really stretched out there. It almost resembles like uh, Rexy from Jurassic World, where she's kind of like thin and doesn't honestly look very healthy. And uh, she has like that scrawny like sort of looking neck, kind of. It looks a little bit longer. Similar look to that. But as you move down into the body, you can again see the shoulder blade a little bit right there. You can even pick up on the rib cage a little bit right there, which this Rex absolutely looks like it potentially needs a meal. So you know, I guess it doesn't look too bad from up here, but when you look at it from the side, it just does look really scrawny. You can see the arm again looks like it's in pretty much the same position almost as what we see on the opposing arm. You can see the skin stretching off of the body a little bit right there as that leg is stretching back. The leg doesn't look very good though. It looks super generic as far as that leg sculpt goes. Like it looks kind of scrawny. There is muscle definition there, but it just doesn't have the big bulky look like I feel like it should have. And the foot sculpt looks okay. Nice glossy nails again over here. And you can see that super long toe over there again on the opposing foot. And then we lead back up into the tail. You can see again, some variations of greens and stuff are included on the figure. So they did make an effort, I guess, to make it at least a little bit of a redeeming factor for the figure, but we run out the length of the tail and that looks okay. It is actually kind of one of them soft, squishy figures as well, so that might have a lot to do with the somewhat awkward appearance to it, but that's really no excuse because there are other companies like Recur and Dazmir's and uh, the National Geographic Wildlife WoW figures that make those kind of like soft, squishy figures, but they still look really good. So I can't really use that as a reason, like an excuse as to why this one looks so generic. But, you know, it, it definitely doesn't look like it's the worst thing ever, but it also isn't really that great either. Another one of the biggest downsides for this figure is the fact that it just doesn't stand. Like if I actually try to stand it up, it stands. Of course it would do that. It has not stood the entire time I've had it until literally right now at this moment, it actually is standing, which is just ridiculous that it would do that to prove me wrong, stupid Tyrannosaurus. But anyway, it hasn't been standing. And in fact, actually to prove you wrong, T-Rex, if I turn you the other way, this is all it seems to ever want to do is just fall over. Oh, there we go. We actually got it to balance. So it is balancing temporarily, but it's like standing on its tippy toes. It doesn't usually balance. And if I even bounce into the table even slightly, I can guarantee this thing is going to fall. But I guess while it is actually standing, we're going to get a measurement on our Rex as it definitely has a very impressive size. So for a length, you are looking at about 17 and three quarter inches or about 45 centimeters. So definitely a pretty big figure. As far as a height goes, you are looking at about just under six and a half inches or about 16, 16 and a half centimeters, somewhere in that range. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the attack pack Colovasaurus and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line, next to our random unknown JP-inspired Tyrannosaurus Rex from 
AliExpress, and you could definitely see again what I was talking about where I was stating that it absolutely has a very impressive size, and looking at it from a distance, it honestly doesn't look all that terrible. It's not great, but it's not the worst thing I've seen for sure. However, it definitely does not sport even remotely close to as nice of a look as what you see on the other three figures over here, but... This should at least tell you that it is really quite sizable. And for another comparison, even though he's a total nightmare to dig out of my shelf because I had him so far in there, here is the Rebor Killer Queen Tyrannosaurus that I'm questioning the oddly similar look with this Rex too. And uh, even though it doesn't look all that similar now with the two next to each other, you can definitely see that the head sculpts look very similar, like suspiciously similar, I would say. Not exact, as I can definitely see some differences, but obviously the, in general, bootlegging process for this Rex was not very well done. But, like, there's obvious similarities with the Rex, like the legs are in fairly the same position and stuff like that. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. It just potentially looks like it could have either been bootlegged from the Rebor Rex, and if that's the case, I do apologize to Rebor for promoting this. If not, maybe it was just inspired as far as the pose by the Rebor Rex, or maybe it's just a total coincidence. I have no idea, but what I can tell you is that the Rebor Rex is much nicer than the weird version that we see here in the back, but you can at least also tell that that weird version in the back still has a very big size to it. So this random, unknown, unbranded AliExpress Tyrannosaurus Rex is certainly not the best figure in the world. It's definitely not going to win any awesome dino awards, and it is honestly not really good. It's kind of ugly. It's actually really quite ugly. It still does sport a pretty fun Jurassic Park look to it, so... There's obviously that kind of, like, nostalgic feel to the Rex, and from a distance I feel like it doesn't look that bad. However, I will say that up close the actual texturing to the body is horribly generic and just generally not very good. It almost looks like the texturing to the skin was created by a child. It's that poorly done. And the paintwork on it as well is not very good. It looks, I mean, like the eyes nicely placed, but... That's honestly about where it ends. All of the rest of the paint looks really bad because of the horrible sculpt on it. And it also has like this really strong, ugly, glossy look to it, which I also really don't like. I don't necessarily enjoy when companies give their dinosaurs a glossy, shiny look. I don't feel like that would have been the way they looked. But, you know, whatever to each their own, I guess. They have produced this with a sort of a glossy look to it. And it's definitely not very appealing as far as I'm concerned. Some may feel a different way, but I don't really like it. And again, due to the weird big bulky texturing to the figure, the paint doesn't sit nicely on the model. So it also looks really sloppy and just generally very unappealing to the eye. I feel like the only really redeeming factors is the fact that it has kind of a Jurassic Park look to it. And also the very large and impressive size. But... If those things uninterest you, then this figure in general is not something that you should inquire further about or pick up because it's not really that great of a figure by any means. However, if you are interested in purchasing it, I will include a link in the description to where I purchased mine on AliExpress. Again, I don't exactly recommend buying one because it's pretty ugly, but if you are interested in taking that gamble... I will include the link in the description either way, but one way or another, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.